Dimensions in AutoCAD are very complicated because they have so many options to them. Keep it simple and make sure your dimension styles fit your needs. I want to look at a few key system variables and methods of dimensioning. The setting I'm talking about is the DIM associate or D-I-M-A-S-S-O-C. Let's open up a file that has some dimensions in it. Let's look at the dimension example file again. The command I'm talking about, the DIM ASSOC or DIM associate, press enter. There are three settings for it. And we've mentioned this in an earlier section, but I want to go over it again because it's very important. Because you're going to find drawings that other people have used where they've changed this setting. It's my opinion that you should always have it set to two. It's that simple to me because that gives you the most control and the easiest way to control everything. Right now in this file here, in this drawing, the DIM associate system variable is set to two. What that means is that when I dimension anything in here, in paper space, it will read the true dimension of the line work as drawn. I don't have to do anything special. I don't have to put a scale in the dimension style, which you can. You can change that. If you go to primary units, you can change the scale factor. Now, I can scale everything by 5 and click OK. Hit close, and as you see, it makes everything five times larger. Now, as you see, I can go in the opposite direction, and instead of having everything five times larger, I can make it five times smaller. That's a matter of scale. And you can do that if you're dimensioning in paper space. However, the problem is that style now only works at that scale. So if I'm drawing something at a quarter inch to a foot, I have to set it up to a 48 scale. So I can't use that dimension style anywhere else. Let's keep it simple. Let's just keep the dimension style set at 1 to 1. And let's let AutoCAD do the scaling for me. If you have your dimension associate setting set to 0 and you create dimensions, they'll look like your style and they'll just draw everything else the way it needs to be. Except you see here, it's not scaling it properly. It's just drawing it to the scale in paper space. So you'll have to enter in the text the way you need it to. And it's not a dimension style. It's just a line, several lines. The arrowhead is just a solid shape, and your text is just text. Now the nice thing about this is that I can do whatever I want to this dimension, and it's very easy to edit it. But as you saw before, there were tons of ways and methods and tools available to us to change the display settings of our dimension. You really don't gain anything by doing this. So this is an old setting in a way when we didn't have as many controls visually of styles for our dimensions. So people would do this to be able to make them look the way they need to. But you lose control. You lose quick control. You lose convenience. Now, if your setting is turned to 1, it turns your dimensions into a block-like object that can be controlled by styles. But if this is the setting you use, then you need to modify your style scale like we showed you earlier. So you would have to dimension it accordingly by a scale because it won't be able to do that. I'll show you. Set it to 1. And now when we try to dimension this object, See, it's 5. It doesn't know what the scale of the viewport is. You have to tell it. Or you have to change your style to match. The setting of 2, it sets your dimensions to the insertion points based on the model space objects that you select. It does several things for you. Most importantly, it measures the true distance that's involved. And it means that you can make one dimension style for the entire file regardless of the scales used. Before we had the setting of 2, we just had 0 and 1, we had to make tons of styles, one for each scale that we could possibly use in our drawing. This got redundant and difficult to manage. So the only reason to make a second style now in your file is to display it differently, as you can see here in our Styles tab. If you need some text bold, if you need something hidden, if you need a tick mark instead of an arrow, or whatever that case is, it's a strictly visual style difference, nothing else. And it makes things much more simpler 
And a lot of times you're only going to have one dimension style in your file to begin with and to end with. If you delete an object in your drawing, for example, if I delete this line, I lose my associativity for my dimension. Though it's not going to really change any, but still it's no longer associated to that object. So if I replace it with another object, I'm just drawing something else. I can reassociate that dimension to a new object. You just use the reassociate command to reassociate dimensions to your object. If you click down here, and it's right here on the left, the reassociate command. Pick the command. Now you select your object. You specify where you want your first dimension line to go to, and then you specify your second, and there you go. And now this dimension has been reassociated to an object.